is this log bag that is extremely hard, like extremely resistant and water resistant as well. Made in Montreal and why it's really, really cool is that sometimes when you get to a camp spot where it is legal to go get wood to make a fire, you're always like stuck with wood in your arm and all you have to do is you put this on the ground Wow. And you put your logs, boop, boop, boop. And then you bring everything back. And when it's not in use, it takes little to no space in the van. We just put it back in the box and it's that easy. So a log bag is something that is really cool. Next vital piece of kit that we want to talk about is this little fold out bin. So you're chopping off all your veg and you've got some stuff that you don't need anymore. But who wants to carry it to the bin and get like juices all Boring. over your hands and stuff? Watch this. Oh! I'm supposed to put a bag in this, but uh, yeah, it just hangs on the cupboard. That is a life hack and a half, that is. It's brilliant, isn't it? Put your food bin there, and then when you're done, because usually when you cook like a big curry or something, you've got loads of onions and garlic skins and stuff like that. Yeah. Just whack it all in there, and then put it in the bin at the end. You're welcome. Last but not least, this is my Lucy Solar String Lights. You can charge it via the included solar panel on top or do a quick charge via USB. I love that it's compact and all you need to do is twist open the unit to pull out the light string. There are three brightness light modes and I usually keep it on the lowest setting which lasts all night. About 20 hours on a single charge I believe. I have the basic version but I know it also comes in color string lights. I do know that a lot of van lifers love using fairy lights in their builds, but I found those to be too much of a hassle for my small space because those fairy lights tend to be about 33 feet long, and this thing is only 18 feet long and has 20 warm white LEDs, so it's perfect for the nighttime. They're coffee warm. You guys have seen these in a ton of our videos. We use them all the time. I even uh, tried to smash this one in the door and you know, it still works just fine. So <laughs> I think you dropped it. No, I actually, the roll, the sliding door, I set it on the, uh, <laughs> the, the like step. And then I tried to slam the sliding glass door really hard, dump my coffee everywhere, smash my cup, but still, still functions, <laughs> still keeps everything nice and warm. These are great cups. The only downside, if it's, I don't know if it's really a downside, but they are really big cups. I think it's a 12 ounce cup. So, you know, this is a pretty good healthy sized cup of coffee. And especially when we're using our Nespresso, which you guys see all the time, it takes a couple of pots to fill this up. So, but these are really nice. 